Hello, my name is Grace Takeda. Thank you so much for joining me in celebrating my three years at the Curtis Institute. I am excited to be able to share all of these beautifully unique works with you today. My recital is based upon the idea of how composers pay tribute to other composers, traditions, and cultures. Each piece on today's program pays tribute in at least one of three of these ways. The first piece that I'll be presenting is J.S. Bach's Cello Suite Number no. 2 in D minor. I love this suite because it starts pensively and inward, but as the movements go by, it continues to open up and grow out of its shell, which describes the experience I've had this past year. Five out of the six movements of the second cello suite are based upon different Baroque dances. For example, the Allemande is a stately processional dance, and the Courant is a dance that includes fast running and jumping steps. The next piece is Capriccio by Henri Vuitton. It is a beautifully singing and virtuosic piece for the viola and pays tribute to the early 19th century virtuoso violinist and composer Niccolo Paganini. The last piece of the first half of the program is the Quincy Porter Suite for Solo Viola, which is a fun four movement piece which follows a typical classical form of the first and third movement being of a slower tempo and the second and fourth being of a faster tempo. My favorite thing about this piece is the jazzy and also fiddle playing elements of the piece. I hope you enjoy the first half of my program.
Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. 
The next piece on the program is Cadenza by Krzysztof Pendrecki. The first two notes of this piece are a half step interval. This half step interval keeps coming back throughout the whole piece and it quickly becomes an obsession which grows out of control but then manages to return to a calm and peaceful state. The next piece is Caprice number no. five called Kristoff by Atar Arad. This piece is a direct tribute to our previous piece, Cadenza by Kristoff Pendretsky. And of course, it wouldn't be a tribute to the Cadenza without the use of the half step interval. The Caprice starts out with a very singing and folk like melody, but then the half step creeps in and it quickly becomes the centerpiece of the Caprice. The last piece on the program is Anna Sokolovic's Prelude from her pre Prelude in Toccata work. The Prelude in Toccata form was very often used by J.S. Bach. So I thought it would be a good way to end my program since now we have come a sort of full circle where we started with Bach and now we are ending with a piece that is quite far from the style of Bach, but also still pays tribute to him. Before we start the second half, I wanted to take a moment to thank my main teacher, Mr. Diaz, who has been so encouraging and so supportive for these past three years, and especially this past year through the pandemic. I also wanna thank my other teachers, Mr. Gazileus, Ms. Huang, and Mr. Amory for all of their encouragement and support as well. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the rest of my recital.
Thank <laughs> you. 